Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing off the new Vapor Blaster I got. This is the VH800 fully loaded from Vapor Hunting Technologies. There. Super cool. So I'm going to be trying it out on these CR125 cases. I've already used it, so I know what happens. But i got to show you guys. Pretty awesome. Uh, I'm super happy with it. So let's go over it real quick. So it comes with a really nice gauge here um, to help control your air compressor. There you are air pressure um, over there is my compressor one thing is you will need a really strong compressor for this at least this cabinet I don't know what the other ones are but uh, that one I think it's defective but it's not keeping up but I just got it and it's not working how it should be so I think that's just defective but that's a 5 horsepower 80 gallon compressor um, it requires like 100 PSI at, I think, 20 CFM, which is a pretty big compressor, but you know, if you're buying this, you probably have a big, a big compressor anyway, so you can see here is the pump for the rinse, which is inside here, I'll power on, the yellow handle thing there is the rinse, um, it's nice to spray off the parts after you get all the media on them, and then the other one there is the actual media nozzle. It's also got windshield wipers with adjustable uh, speed settings here. So that's nice. Um, it's got the vent there. I don't have it routed outside yet. It's definitely something I want to do. I'll start smelling like air compressor in the whole room. But I haven't done that yet. Um, it's buried in the corner right now. So I can't show you with this back cabinet thing but in there is just a maze of wires and stuff you do not want to attempt to make. It's crazy. There's the drain bucket, the pump. Uh, here's the uh, on off switch. It's also got an emergency stop. I haven't had to use that. Um, let's see here. Nice big door. Um, that's a big thing for this because it's not a huge cabinet. But I actually did. I was able to fit a whole frame in this cabinet, which is pretty surprising. Uh, I was shocked that I could. It doesn't really look that big, but I fit that whole frame. I had to take it out once to flip it around, but that was it. So I'm super impressed with that. It's got the drain pan here, or the this catches all the media and water falling off when you open the door. Um, you can't see any of the pump or all that stuff down there, but uh, it's down there, just buried in water and media. You got a GoPro mount in there to show you guys what happens on the inside. It's got dual light bars, so super well lit. Here's the media nozzle. It's also got grippy gloves, that way you can hold the part good. But uh, there's the control down there. I haven't set that up yet. So, other than that, I've been ha super, help you, uh, super happy with this machine. Um, the only thing I have to complain about is it's really short, but they purposely made it that way. That way you can uh, have a seat for when you're doing it, because a lot of people do it for a long time. It's a slower process. Um, that, and then the other thing I'm not a huge fan of is right down there, let's see here, that is the drain for the media, which is extremely low to the ground. It makes it really hard to get it out. Um, it's manageable, you just gotta have a really low bucket and uh, it's just kind of hard. So I will be routing some different tubing on there uh, coming out of that nozzle. That way it's not such a pain. There's the water drain, that upper one. Uh, so I wish it was like that, but then it wouldn't work that well. So because they make it short for sitting down, it makes it kind of hard to actually get the media out. So it comes with a uh, thing to separate the mo uh, the water from your airline, which seems kind of weird because <laughs> the whole thing is made of water, but you know, I don't know. Anyways, uh, other than those two things, I've been having a ton of fun with it and it's extremely helpful. Right here is a gear that I did. Uh, this was an experiment and it turned out awesome, so. I'm excited to try out, and I've been waiting so long to do these cases to make this video, so let's uh, let's try it out. Here's the before. You can see these engine cases are just disgusting. 
oil, dirt, years of it, so we'll be doing the whole thing. So I'm gonna put them in there and we'll get to Boston. Hi right, guys, we just finished vapor blasting that side of the case. Just look at this difference. Yeah, I can't get good lighting here, but it's just insane. Look at that difference. I mean, this thing is spotless. I mean, it's incredible. I'm so happy I got one of these. Like, it's just super cool. I mean, I hate, always hate putting together oily and dirty stuff, and this is just literally the solution, 100%. It cleans everything perfectly. Super smooth as well. Um, you can do any surface. It also looks super cool, so that's definitely a plus as well. Um, you can see it's super shiny. Also did it on these cases over here. Let's see. I mean, they just look, they look brand new, better than new, so, so we still got this case to do and uh, that piece, but you can see the comparison here, just stepping back, it obviously just stands out completely, so let's do this other side. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast Revolutionary, gotta let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one more, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the, let out the I hear him checks in the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him checks with the boys Not so tough, but nuts keep talking, yeah Just too shot with the prize Fight girls, better tell me I'm awesome, yeah Hot like fire on the pine If you wanna touch Beg please get on your knees Came from the jungle, up in the trees I got a few tricks up in the sleeve One wrong move, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the shoes, check out the crease Flow like I'm big foot, step on the beat Make a man's run till he step out the cleats When the whole place scream, gotta get out the Yeah, I, I am trapped in the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I am trapped with the boys Not so tough, but man's keep walking yeah. Dress too sharp with the prize Right there, better tell me I'm awesome yeah. Like fire on the pine If you wanna touch my please use caution Stop that Stop that Alright We just finished paper blasting all those pieces uh, It turned out super cool As planned So This piece is my favorite here And see how shiny it is on the inside doesn't even look as shiny as in, in the camera, but uh, it is like super shiny. It looks like brushed aluminum. Super cool look. This was the piece that was most disgustingly uh, dirty and oil. You know, 10 plus years of dirt and oil built up onto this thing, and it's no match for the Vapor Boster, so. You can see it's spotless clean. I mean, you could lick this part, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that, but <laughs> you probably could. So super cool. Uh, I left the threads a little bit dirty, or the from the studs, because I'm replacing those anyways. But uh, as you can see, super nice. A lot of nicks in this part from uh, you know years of use. 2002, so almost 20 years old but uh... overall they look super nice here's that gear again so once again I highly recommend checking them out uh, it's at Vapor Honing Technologies I'll link them in, in the description they even have a bench top one that's not even close to the price of this one um, that you could check out so uh... you know just weekend warrior kind of thing and uh, yeah, 
I highly recommend getting a vapor blaster. I mean, it's, I've wanted one of these for so long, and I finally decided to buy one, and I'm very happy with it. I mean, it's exactly what I thought it would be. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, this thing doesn't even have the engine mark tag. Hmm. Look at that. They got a little eagle. It's so clean, you can even see that. Let's see here. It's not focusing. You can kind of see it there. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll link it in the description, and uh, thanks for watching.